Hi and welcome to Packrafting TV, my YouTube channel about packrafting related stuff. Um, today I want to talk about, you know, how you can outfit your packraft so you can really set yourself up for success when you're piling some white water. Um, I'm just going to focus on a few very basic things, but I think loads of people actually do wrong and so they can't get the best performance out of their, out of their paddling. So first thing, make sure your boat is really well inflated and it's very stiff. I know it might sound funny, but I often see people with a boat that is not inflated enough. So when you inflate it on the bank of the river, obviously you're gonna make it as hard as you can, then you can just put it in the water, it's gonna lose a bit of a, it's not that it you know, loses some air, but it's gonna feel softer, then reinflate it, then you can paddle a little bit, and then you can reinflate it again, and then you can even top it up regularly. Um, pack rafts, you know, I find that they really need to get topped up uh, regularly, you know. It doesn't matter the, uh, the brand you've got. So make sure your boat is as stiff as you can. It's really going to help your paddling. And uh, you're going to be really, like, more efficient. And it's going to be a lot better for you. That's the first thing. Second thing now. Oftentimes, I find people are very leaning back into the pack raft as if, you know, like... It's very cool and relaxed and, and I agree, pack rafting is really cool, it's really relaxing, it's very nice. But if you're trying to paddle some white water, uh, here you're not going to be in the best position. Why? Well, for two reasons. The first one is when you're paddling, you need to rotate your torso a lot. And here I can't really rotate my torso very well. I can just use uh, my shoulders but not quite, you know, rotate my torso. So. Um, second thing as well is that when I'm in this position, I can't really use my hips to, you know, really edge my boat the way I want. So it's not going to be ideal. Okay. So your boat is very well inflated. It's very stiff. Now, how can you get the most um, out of your strokes? So what I like to do, um, and a good way to remember it, I mean, that's what I got told and I think it's a good way to, to think about it is bums out and chest out you know kind of like my back is really straight my bum is up there my chest is up there uh you know it might look like i've got a bit of a puffed up ego sort of thing but i don't i'm just trying to set myself up for success um so make sure your feet are against the front of the boat as well so you can really um, push for them when you're paddling this is really going to make your, your, your strokes a lot more efficient when you're going to go, okay? You're going to be able to really push with your leg and, and go with your shoulders as well. So when I see into my boat, I like my feet to be at the front of the boat so I can push on it. Then I've got my knees deeply bent into the thigh straps. And you can see my thigh straps are actually pretty tight. That's the way I like it. And then I just, um, I just the back bend so I can be, you know, Got my back very straight and I'm ready for, for some good paddling. Um, actually, I've got my paddle right here, but I might use it. Uh, I've taken the blade off, you know, as you can see. Um, but really, when, when I paddle, I like to really be into that position here and, and just, you know, rotate my torso and use my, my leg to have maximum power, okay? So if I'm paddling on the left side, I'm going to be using my left leg. If I'm paddling on the right side, I'm going to be using my right leg. And this is really how I'm going to have maximum power. Uh, another reason why as well, I like to be really forward and I think it's it's difficult sometimes when we are getting into a hot rapid, you know, we tend to be like, oh, that, that is scary, I don't want to do that. Um, but it's actually pretty, I mean, it's not helping you out. Let's just put it that way. You really want to be forward. Uh, that way you're going to have maximum power on your stroke, maximum efficiency. And also, one of the reasons I do that is that whenever I'm going over waves and stuff, by you know, being very forward, I've got m the maximum of my weight at the front there, so I'm less likely to get tipped over like that. And also, then I can use my paddle, I'm going to reach very far forward there, kind of like on the other side of the wave, so that my, pad my, my blade at the end of my paddle is going to go and catch the current that is, you know, going um, downstream, and that's r really going to help me... Um, move my boat and really drive it okay so to make it simple that's kind of all i wanted to talk about today make sure you've got your boat that is well inflated and make sure 
your, uh, your position in the boat is really, uh, really good as well by having a very straight back, you know, sort of your bums out in the back and your, um, your torso, your upper body sort of out out there as well, kind of a puffed up ego, like I said earlier. And this is really how you're going to be able to have maximum power and efficiency um, in your strokes. So um, that's it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. If you've got any comments and anything you want to add, if you think I'm talking garbage as well, that's fine. You can you can let me know. So I just stop uh, talking garbage. And I've created a blog as well where I'm just adding like many stuffs about pack rafting. For those of you who, who want to learn, I've created a beginner's guide. Um, so it's uh, packrafting101 dot wordpress.com I've put a, a link in the, uh, in the description of this episode so you can find out more if you're interested and uh, that's it thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll see you next time